All right, we are going to turn our paragraph um, facts into sentences and make the whole paragraph look like a paragraph should. Okay, first things first. The Milky Way is a giant galaxy of stars like our sun. Maybe we should say, I'm going to, I want to get it, I'm going to backspace so that I'm next to the last sentence. There are all, there's always at least one space between sentences, but I like two because this is not a newspaper where they need, newspapers are the, are the things that usually delete most of the spaces because they like to have lots of extra space left over. The Milky Way is a giant galaxy of stars like our sun. Massive collection of gas, dust, and stars. Hmm. Galaxies. I'm going to make this fact sound normal. Galaxies are massive collections of gas, dust, and stars. Dust and stars. You could either say galaxies can contain billions of stars or in, galaxies are massive collections of gas, dust, and stars. Galaxies can contain billions of stars. Or we could say galaxies are massive collections of gas, dust, and billions of stars. So since I added this fact here, I don't even need this anymore and I think it sounds really good to just make to insert one fact from another um, from another fact line into that first one to make a nice informative sentence let's see each star in a galaxy can have its own planets orbiting it can have its own and if not all stars oh, oh okay so those are solar systems but soul is like we would really just call them star systems because oh soul is just the name of our star sun so each star in a galaxy can have its own planet can have its own star system Called, we'll say called solar systems here on Earth. Okay, let me let's read it again. Make sure it, it sounds correct. Each star in a galaxy can have its own star systems called solar systems here on Earth with planets orbiting each star, each orbiting each star. Or maybe we should put orbiting a star. Each star in a gap. But it just said, doing control Z to go back most if not all stars okay so let's do that most because it's not each most if not all stars okay most of all stars in a galaxy can have it their own star systems Solar, so I think maybe, maybe we can just do this. Solar systems. I'll just put also called solar systems with planets orbiting each orbiting a star. Got to reread it again. Most, if not all. Stars in a galaxy can have their own star systems, also called solar systems, with planets 
orbiting the star. Each star. I think that's okay. Most, if not all, stars. All right. So we have we've written that one. Oh, and we finished this. We we use this fact. Most, if not all, stars have their own star systems. Boom. Lots of galaxies have black holes in the center that the stars orbit around. Okay, so we were just talking about stars. And now we're talking about stars orbit around the black holes in the center of galaxies. It takes the sun 250 million years to orbit around the center of our galaxy. And it's, it's orbiting around a supermassive black hole. Okay, I think it's cool to talk about our galaxy first. So I'm gonna highlight that, cut. Now this is just, some of these choices, like I don't have to put this particular fact before um, lots of galaxies orbit around supermassive black holes. I just think it would sound cool. It takes the sun, it takes our, what do you think? Our star, the sun. You know, I'm thinking right now, should I capitalize sun? It doesn't seem to think it needs to, but I am referring to it as that, as the name. So I'm going to come back to this word later. I'm going to go look up if I should capitalize sun. Sometimes adults have questions about all of that stuff, too. And it's okay, as long as you, you take the time to go find the answer. It takes our star, the sun, 250 million years to orbit around the center of, of our galaxy. At the center, let's see, to orbit around, who, how about, how about a super massive black, around a super massive black hole, at the center of our galaxy. All right. So it takes our star, the sun, 250 million years to orbit around a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Sounds good. Lots of galaxies have black holes in their center that the stars orbit around. And that, that already sounds pretty good. <laughs> okay. Um, there might be 100 billion galaxies out there. We don't know how many galaxies are out there. We don't. We can't use contractions when writing formal papers. Um, we can use them when we're writing emails and texts. And you can use them in creative writing stories, but not in formal papers that are for school or to explain science or history. We do not know how many galaxies are out there. Well, oops, I just used this. There might be 100 billion galaxies. How about we'll say in the universe, because I don't want to repeat that. In the universe, we do not know how many galaxies are out there. Ooh, ooh. Can't start the sentence with but. However, we do not know how many galaxies are out there because we keep locating new ones. All right, I'm going to reread the whole paragraph to myself um, or out loud to y'all to just make sure it sounds right. The Milky Way is a giant galaxy of stars like our sun. Ooh, look, I capitalized it there. That's a good, a, a good clue. The Milky Way is a giant galaxy of stars like our sun. Galaxies are massive collections of gas, dust, and billions of stars. Most, if not all, stars in a galaxy can have their own star systems, also called solar systems, with planets orbiting each star. It takes our star, the sun, 250 million years to orbit around a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Lots of galaxies have black holes in their centers 
that stars orbit around. There might be 100 billion galaxies in the universe. However, we do not know how many galaxies are out there because we keep locating new ones. It sounds pretty good for right now. I might change the sentences or the wording later I, to like make it sound better, but this is a really good start.